electric vehicles are everywhere these days. Ten years ago, spotting one on the road felt like seeing a unicorn. Now, they're in driveways, on highways, and even replacing gas-guzzling trucks. But here's the thing. Not all EVS are created equal. Some are simple city runabouts, while others are high-tech rockets on wheels. Some are meant for the budget-conscious driver, and others? Well, they're rolling statements of wealth and status. So today, we're breaking EVs down into seven levels. And trust me, when we hit level five, some Tesla fans are going to be very upset. By the time we reach level seven, though, you'll see just how far electric vehicles can really go, and maybe even question what the future of driving will look like. Let's get into it. Level one, the starter EVs. Every revolution begins small, and EVs are no different. Level one is all about the basic, budget-friendly electric cars. These aren't flashy or fast. They're simple, affordable, and usually have limited range. Think about cars like the early Nissan Leaf, the Chevy Spark EV, or the Fiat 500e. They don't go much farther than 80 to 100 miles on a charge, and performance is nothing to brag about. But here's the thing. They proved electric driving was possible. They were cheap to run, easy to charge at home, and perfect for people who just needed a car to get to work and back. These cars are the unsung heroes of the EV world. They laid the foundation for everything that came after, proving that an electric motor could replace a gas tank. Level 2. The Everyday EVs Now we're moving up. Level 2 EVS are the ones you'll see most often on the road today. These cars balance affordability, range, and practicality. We're talking about models like the Chevy Bolt, Hyundai Kona Electric, and the newer Nissan Leaf Plus. These cars can go 200 to 250 miles on a single charge, which is more than enough for most people's daily driving needs. They're not going to blow anyone away at a drag strip, but they're comfortable, safe, and reliable. This level is where EVs stop feeling like experiments and start feeling like actual replacements for gas-powered cars. If level one was about, can this work? Then level two is all about, yes, this works, and it's actually pretty good. Level three, the tech-savvy EVs. Here's where things get more exciting. Level 3 EVS start bringing in the cool tech. We're talking about advanced driver assistance, massive touchscreens, and slick smartphone integration. Tesla's early Model 3s and Model Ys live here. But it's not just Tesla anymore. Polestar, Volkswagen's ID.4, and Ford's Mustang Mach-E also fall into this level. These vehicles go 250 to 300 miles on a charge and charging speeds are much faster thanks to improved battery tech. Level 3 EVS feel modern, futuristic even. They're not just about getting you from point A to point B, they're about doing it in style, with tech that makes you feel like you're driving a car from the future. Level 4. The Performance EVs Okay, now we're cooking. Level 4 EVS are all about speed, power, and performance. These are the cars that show just how crazy electric motors can get. Models like the Tesla Model S Plaid, Porsche Taycan Turbo S, and Audi e-tron GT fall into this level. We're talking 0 to 60 in under 3 seconds, some even in under 2. And the torque? Instant neck-snapping, grin-inducing power that makes gas cars feel slow. But it's not just about raw speed. These cars also have premium interiors, advanced battery management systems, and charging capabilities that make road trips possible. Level 4 is where electric vehicles stop being eco-friendly alternatives and start being dream cars. Level 5. The Luxury Titans. And here's the level that's going to ruffle some feathers. Level 5. EVS aren't just about performance, they're about luxury. This is where brands like Lucid and Mercedes-Benz step in. Take the Lucid Air, for example. Over 500 miles of range, ultra-fast charging, and interiors that look more like private jets than cars. Or the Mercedes EQS, which comes with a hyperscreen that stretches across the entire dashboard. Tesla fans might get mad, but the truth is, 
companies like Lucid and Mercedes are proving that EVS can outdo Tesla in refinement, comfort, and even range. These cars aren't just for getting around, they're experiences on wheels. Level 5 EVS are for people who want it all, speed, tech, luxury, and bragging rights. And honestly, they're pushing the boundaries of what electric cars can be. Level 6, the utility beasts. Now, this is where things get wild. Level 6 EVS aren't focused on city driving or luxury, they're focused on raw power, towing, and utility. Yep, we're talking about electric trucks. The Rivian R1T, Ford F-150 Lightning, GMC Hummer, EV, they all live here. These trucks combine everything people love about traditional pickups with the instant torquey of electric motors. The Rivian can literally tank turn, spinning in place by powering wheels in opposite directions. The Lightning can power your house during a blackout. And the Hummer EV? It can crab walk sideways. Level 6 EVS prove that electric vehicles aren't just small cars for the city. They can be massive, capable machines that handle work, play, and everything in between. And honestly, they're some of the most fun EVS on the road right now. Level 7. The Future Icons Finally, we've reached the top. The future icons of the EV world. These are the vehicles that aren't just cars, but visions of what's coming next. Think about the Tesla Cybertruck, the Aptera Solar EV, or even hypercars like the Remac Nevra. These vehicles push every boundary, design, performance, and technology. The Cybertruck, love it or hate it, has over 500 miles of range, bulletproof glass, well, almost, and a stainless steel exoskeleton. The Remac Nevra, over 1,900 horsepower, making it one of the fastest cars on the planet. Level 7 EVS aren't just vehicles, they're statements. They're proof that the automotive world is changing forever, and we're just at the beginning. So, where's your EV? Now that we've gone through all seven levels, where does your electric vehicle land? Are you cruising around in a humble level one commuter? Maybe you're enjoying the tech of a level three Tesla Model Y, or maybe you're dreaming of that level five Lucid Air and its insane range. No matter where you land, one thing is clear. EVS aren't just the future, they're the present. And as we climb these levels, the cars only get more exciting. The best part? The technology is moving so fast that today's level three might be tomorrow's level one. In just a few years, what seems futuristic now will probably feel ordinary. That's how quickly things are changing. So tell me, which level of EV do you think is the sweet spot? Is it the affordable everyday cars or the luxury titans giving Tesla a run for its money? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I can't wait to see where you all stand. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and stick around because we're just getting started with these deep dives into the wild world of cars. Trust me, the next one is going to blow your mind.